Hello everyone and welcome back to Plane. Today we are going to take a look at how our trees are doing. Oh, I, I guess nothing will have happened yet because we haven't meditated um, and we don't actually have any trees to plant either. But let's just change time. Let's move time forward. There we go. And what do we have? Okay, so here we have a sapling and there we have a sapling that's a little bit bigger. Yeah, looking good. Let me turn the uh, light back down or go back in time or forward in time to the time in plane. And what I think would be quite nice actually, what would be quite nice is if I could, if I could sit down. I would love to be able to sit down here and just watch the, you know, the campfire and the, I guess it's the sea, because I can see like little waves. Uh, that'd be quite nice, but I guess that's not supported yet. Um, uh, today I was thinking about relaxation and stress and anxiety and how we have a lot of the stress and anxiety that we carry around all the time. And sometimes we are aware, at least, that we are stressed or anxious. Other times we are not even aware. But once we come to the awareness that we have stress, the next step... is figuring out what is making us stressed. And each of these steps have their own difficulties. And once we figure out what is making us stressed, then we have the challenge of how to alleviate that stress. And it isn't always a case of figuring out a solution, because for some things, there simply isn't a solution. For example, our current situation with coronavirus or COVID-19 and the restrictions that it has placed on our lives and the fears that it brings, perhaps for ourselves or our loved ones, and for the state of the world in general, there is very little that we can actually do about that. Very, very little, if anything. So the only options we have there is to try and pretend that this is not the case, you know, be in denial, or to come to terms with it. A lot of it is like grief. And a lot of us have to go through all the five stages of it until we get finally to acceptance. And that acceptance can be a very difficult journey to get to. And I think meditation can help each of us to get to that acceptance. You know, it is, yeah, it is not an easy path, but it is a worthwhile path. Other things that can help is finding little self-care routines, looking after yourself a little bit better in little ways. Meditation can be one of the tools in that tool chest. Another thing can be cutting out things that increase our anxiety. Things like caffeine. They are really bad. Caffeine is really bad in terms of increasing your anxiety levels and its addictive qualities doesn't help either. Another thing that you can do is have things that help calm you down. Chamomile tea is a good example of that. I myself just bought a whole bunch of them from Amazon. I got like four packs of chamomile, vanilla and manuka honey tea bags. And I make it a habit to have a tea, have a cup of chamomile tea and go and sit out on the balcony for uh, for an afternoon cup of tea and it helps be relaxing it helps to be out i live in a nice area where there are plants and there is a little stream next to my house so i can sit there you know there's nobody else around near us so no social distancing to worry about and it is relaxing to be out in nature and it helps to be having a cup of chamomile tea and just let the worries of the world go for 
five or ten minutes or fifteen minutes. For a little while, it's almost possible to imagine that the world is the same as it was a year ago. Now, I'm not saying that denial is a good strategy, but it helps, it can help to just let go of everything and just be in the moment. And I guess at the end of it all, that's what meditation really is. It's about forgetting our past, not forgetting, it's about focusing on the present. So we are not fretting about the past or the future. You know, only the present matters. And if you're able to do that with a cup of chamomile tea, then all the better. So on that note, let us do our meditation for today. Is there anything you want to check before we do that? Game progress. We're already at level 7. I'm not sure when we will get to level 8. It might be a few steps yet. It looks like very many days before we will get to level 8. I'm guessing level 9 is right there. So, I'm not sure. Maybe 15 days? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh no. Maybe 20 days, I can't tell. We'll see when we actually get there. Anything else? Streak, oh yeah, let's see that. Should be well pleased with our streak of six. Okay. Achievements, st statistics, yeah, that's fine. Let's meditate. Uh, let's see if there's anything else we want to try today. Repetition meditation. I've never been a fan of repetition meditation. Um, a type of meditative journaling. I could show you that. This free writing practice teaches you to express freely and openly and encourages you to sit with the silence when you encounter it. Huh. Don't want to do 10 minutes, but you know, I can show you one a minute. Might even cancel out early of thought pages. Let's see what that actually entails. And then we will do uh, a regular meditation that we normally do. Take whatever is lying on the surface of your mind and write about it. You're just creating a stream of words from your mind to your keyboard. Hold if you on. don't have anything or you can't think... I realize that the uh, audio there is longer than a minute. Huh. So, since I meditated for a few seconds, I've got the streak and I've got a seed as well. I've got a shrub seed. but. We can look at that in a minute. Let me do this for two minutes so we can hear the whole voiceover. Take whatever is lying on the surface of your mind and write about it. You're just creating a stream of words from your mind to your keyboard. If you don't have anything or you can't think of what to write, just leave your awareness on that silence and something will pop up. And when it does, no matter what it is, just write about it. You're not really writing for a specific purpose or a goal. You're just freely expressing what lies on the surface of your mind. If you run out of things to write, then like before, just remain aware of that silence. If your mind goes empty and you run out of things to write, just remember that, just stay in that silence. And when something pops up, then just write about that. Just remember that you're writing without any specific purpose. You're just expressing freely what's there. Remember, what you write here will not be saved anywhere. Once a session is completed, everything you write will be destroyed. So write freely, write openly. In case you're wondering, I've just been typing out whatever the voiceover said. Well, not everything because I'm not as fast a typer as I would need to be to be able to write the whole thing. Just the words that I picked up and some of those things. 
this is a good exercise to try to empty your mind perhaps i think it's quite a neat little feature to be able to i do this and i, I call it free writing myself um not as yeah i guess it is meditative i just load up a google docs because i don't throw it away and then i just write until there is nothing more to write well that's quite cool because i meditated for a little bit longer i got more seeds perhaps huh let's check it out 112 words is that correct hmm. you have completed a thought page you can give your thoughts to the fire no i haven't got any more seeds how do I give my thoughts to the fire? Did that do it? Maybe. Yeah, it did. I just went over to the fire and held down E and the fire became bigger. And you heard the crackling a lot louder as well. Yeah, so... I, I used to do, I still occasionally do the free writing, no, I do do the free writing thing. Sometimes regularly, when I was going through a more difficult time in my life, particularly last year, I was struggling with a number of things. I used to write regularly, I used to journal essentially, regularly. But I stopped using a computer for it and I started using a notepad and I got myself a good old fashioned fountain pen and I write with it. There is something quite primal that connects when you use a pen to write on paper rather than doing it digitally. And it doesn't matter, even doing digitally made a big difference because I used to do that for many, many, many years before I got myself a pad and a pen. So if you don't do that, it's something that I would suggest you give it, you know, give a try. And you know, there are no expectations, there is no real right or wrong way of doing it. It's I'm just looking at Fox sitting in the fire. It's clearly immune to the effects of it. Yeah, there's no real right or wrong way of free writing. I mean, the basic idea is just write whatever comes into your head and just let that stream of consciousness just go in there. You're not writing for anybody to read, so there is no judgment. You know, there is no fear really involved. And, you know, you can rip it up and throw it out or, you know, um, pop it in the barbecue and let it evaporate if that's what you want to do. There's no reason to keep it. Um, and I think it can be a useful and it can be a powerful way of letting go of thoughts in your head. If you have insomnia, if you're not able to sleep at night, this is one thing to try. Just get everything on in your head onto paper. Gives your ben uh, it gives your brain a sense of relief that it doesn't have to remember all of these things anymore. And sometimes it can help you fall asleep sometimes helps me fall asleep and uh, yeah so let's do our regular meditation of the day change meditation we'll do 10 minutes yeah we'll do 10 minutes still and we'll just do the regular root meditation so we've done this one we've done this one we've done this one we've done this one and we've done this one so there are three meditations left and we may do that at some point. If you're particularly interested in any of these, just let me know and I'll be happy to give it a shot or at least show you how they are. So let's just do the 10 minutes on this one.
All right. So that's our seven day streak. And we've got a shrub. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got three shrubs actually. Did we not plant all of them last time? I think we did. Let me just go in here and change the time. Sunrise, afternoon, okay. Huh. Okay, we can customize the meditation. That's really cool. No thought sounds. Yes, please. They do distract me a bit and they may distract you as well, I guess, if you're meditating along with me. Little bling, bling sounds. So let's get rid of that. Interface is fine. And one thing I noticed today, which I should have noticed earlier, is that the meditation background is where I am in the plane. So today we had the campfire because I started meditating from here. And uh, when I meditate from elsewhere, that's exactly what I will have. So if I want to meditate with the sounds of the ocean, then I just need to head over to the ocean. Should we, pl oh yeah, let's check out how these trees are doing. The shrubs look exactly the same. I guess they grow to full size within one meditation. 
And this one, though, it's gotten taller. It looks bigger. There's the other one. Didn't get any more tree seeds, though. I don't know what tree seeds are called. Are they just called tree seeds? I mean, we can't plant any more trees, but we can we can pr plant more grass. I'm not sure how excited I am about grass. But you know, one thing I may do is plant a few more of these purple ones just here. One. Two. And three. There we go. Maybe I should have done that before I meditated the second time around. Anyway, that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you very much for joining me. And I'll see you again next time.